And as I already said, this is very emotional for me because I'm coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina and I went through the war. So it's uh, asylum seeker, refugees, it's a very emotional question. And I will uh, read my speech in order not to get into deeper emotions by the people who are abusing the situation of these poor people. So someone has been asleep in Bosnia and Herzegovina for the past three years, said the Bosnian and Herzegovinian Minister of Security, Fahrudin Radoncic. Last week in Zagreb, he requested the assistance of Republic of Croatia. He mentioned how the migration crisis in Bosnia and Herzegovina should no longer be treated as humanitarian, but as a security crisis. The country urgently needs over 400 extra border guards. Out of 40 million allocated from European aid, only 7% is earmarked for the support of the local institution in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Local institutions have endured most of the pressure since the beginning of the migrant crisis. The only ones who profit from this crisis are human traffickers. Croatian police arrested 95 of them only this year. Human traffickers are so present that Deputy Director of USAID, Bonnie Glick, stated that you, America will have to cut their assistance to Bosnia and Herzegovina if institutions don't intensify their fight against it. It's a Köszönöm. fragile country. Don't play with Bosnia Köszönöm. and Herzegovina here. Shame on you.